Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Layback Gamer, and we are back with some more RimWorld. Now, I'm just going to quickly toggle the volume a little bit. Maybe turn this up a bit, turn this up a bit more. Because I noticed that this has been rather quiet. So I figured maybe I'll just turn it up just a wee bit. There we go. And last time we left off, um, we managed to recruit Justin here. We got Z Zulikia. I don't even know how to pronounce that. And, uh, well, we've been doing pretty good so far. Um, oh, Alarak is building. I was about to say, ah, um, wasted construction materials there. I remembered Alarak doesn't have 100 in construction. Well, actually, he's got 15. He's pretty damn good at it. Go ahead and kick this up a notch. So yeah, last time we left off, we managed to get... Oh, Alarax is now asleep. Alarax, please stop working. Um, I did remember to change that back. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, so... Let me go ahead and bump the sleep up like that. Actually, yeah. We'll keep this at recreation hour. Put this at work hour and have recreation. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, great, she's gone into catatonic. Well, actually, that's not the worst. It's not the worst pl position she could be in. Go rescue her, please. What are you... Uh, okay, so you have a little bit down on manipulation, I'm guessing. Yeah, you had a little bit down because you've got some... You're missing a few fingers and you have a missing eye, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all. I'll be doing research. So yeah, in this recording session, I'm hope, hopefully going to be able to get microelectronics done, as well as we're going to get a, I'm going to get Robert to start mining some of the stuff out. Although, who's the better miner? Yeah, he's the better miner, so... I'll turn the, these down to a two. So that he starts uh, hauling the stuff away. And Robert's just very happy. He's a very happy little android. Yes, he is. He's such a happy little android. Meanwhile, Justin over... Well, actually, Justin's doing really nice. He's having a fun fishing... Relaxing fishing session. Which is not set to expire at all because that's all essentially he's programmed to do. Apparently he likes the spaces and interior. Slightly invite. Yeah, we kind of have to clean this area up. So, Justin, please uh, come in here and start cleaning up the place. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I need you to do this, this, clean up down here. It's a little bit right there. I want you to clean. Don't actually work on any of the tiles. And then we'll get to that. Hopefully, once we get the uh, interior of this room done and it all cleaned up, it'll be uh, eh, somewhat impressive. That It may require a statue in here, though, in order to get it. Yeah, good job, Justin. This place now just has a 19. It's slowly going up. Oh, it's dull. It was decent, and now it's back down. Dang it. Guys, stop messing up the room, please. <laughs> I kind of need that. And you're doing just fine. That's great. Okay, so, um... Right. We gotta find some more, uh... Gotta get some more medicine at some point. Oh. Well, I think a, bull a pebble mitt must have died on the map. Because it was dead. Oh, we have a cheetah here. I want that hunter down, so that it does not end up killing us. But it's nice that we have uh, a thrum, a thrum wolf out there because he's going to make sure that. Oh. Oh, nicely done. Wait, what was it with the icon above the head? I don't know. Uh, Rimworld recently got an update, so we can actually make our own uh, lot or landing pads. That was a major point in it. 
I don't know where we can do that. Is it under misc? Uh, I don't think it is. I have a tax spot. You know what? Taxes shall be received in... We'll put that there for now. We can move it later. Um, I also do eventually want to build a nice grave. Uh, well, a colonist... Uh, mausoleum, and then of course I need a, well, we don't need a graveyard, we use the water for that. The water just washes away the dead. Hmm. Yeah, we've really gone back to old times, haven't we? <laughs> okay, so we have the remove. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh my, um... Right. Justin, get out of there. Run, Justin. Justin, your life quite literally depends on how fast you can get out of there. Oh, God, the meadow halves. No, 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 not the meadow halves. Okay, uh, this is a task. Robert, where are you? Robert, get up here and beat the... And start beating these guys to death. rescue a couple of these meadow abs. Sadly, there are no alive female meadow abs. Uh, you got shut down pretty quickly. Why'd you have to get the attention? Why'd you have to anger all of them? Why would you do that? Yeah, both of these are males that we're rescuing here. Sadly, none of the females survived. Okay, how you doing? You okay? Uh, Alright, so everybody's okay. That's good. Yeah, so if we could save them, that'd be really helpful. And I gotta go one moment. Okay, that took way longer than I was hoping it was gonna take. We're back though, I'm back. Uh, now so we have some overhead mountain here. Uh, remove. Yep, that's all overhead mountain there. Which means it comes to mining. We can go up to there. Aww. Alarak made friends with the pup. Ain't that cute? That should do? I hope it doesn't crush Robert. And then we'll just have to shoot at the supports here for the overhead mountain. Alright, mine from this way backwards. Do that one first. Oh, okay, Halarak came by and uh, he's giving the head, him a hand. Alright, grab that one, please. Oh, we got a little bit more there. That one actually might. Eh, it's not going to. Get these, I'd like to keep these sand chunks, sandstone chunks to use for later. There we go. Don't worry, Robert's very happy. He still has very low expectations. And a burning passion for the work. We'll have to get his recreation up a little bit. But yeah. Now we just need to shoot these out, and that should cause the overhead mountains to to collapse. And hopefully, in time, it'll get, it'll be we'll be able to get rid of all of it. Uh, what else would I like to have done? Oops. 
I'm still pretty happy with what happened here. This was this could have been really bad. Yeah, this could have been really bad here if we let that spread. But for we were really fortunate that we had some friendlies able to come in. Actually, can I get Justin? Uh, I don't think Justin has any. Uh, yeah, he barely has one in melee, and I think the only reason why he got that is because he punched a bunch of metal abs. Can you guys equip the? Oh, you cannot. I was about to say, oh, they can. Oh, that... Okay. All right, you're gonna need some food to yourself. Random event, half cost to settle. You know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and place down a new settlement. So, where would I like to place the settlement down? I think we will have it just down the road. I think these guys are our allies here, so we'll probably not want to make them angry. I think this will be a decent spot. <clears throat> we can get some extra, uh, we have a base on Now this I haven't played around with too much, so out here, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, temperate forest will result in some pretty good ones. Uh, grasslands, it's a one. Uh, desert look like it doesn't really do too much. That's boreal forest, which does the same as a, a normal forest. Tropical rainforest decreases this by a bit, not too much. It actually decreases this bottom one too. Arid shrubland has the same effect. Oh, it's a bit. It's a lot worse than a desert, actually. I know there's an extreme desert somewhere around here. I'm kind of curious. Let's see, oasis. That's just one across the board. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and pick this spot over here to settle. We'll let them settle there, and then we will start to uh, try to develop them a little bit better. As you're done, and once you're done your recreation, All right, I think I'm gonna start restricting the meals to these fridges so that they can just pop in here, pull one off the shelf, and then come back up. And yeah, that's what I think I'll do. So we'll make this to meals. Oh, jeez. Right, we're gonna have to kill him. All right, Robert, you take this one. Where's Alaric? Oh, that was the bad way to go, cyborg. Don't you dare die. Alaric, I hope you feeling like a tech, okay, a Texas snipe shooter today. Or sharpshooter, I mean, not snipe shooter. Ah, well, we tried to get some free metal abs. Didn't quite work out that way. Now we'll have to tend to, to uh, Cyborg. Uh, whoops, nope. Alarak, I need you afterwards to go tend to him. Or tend to her, sorry. Mm. Awesome! Octavia! We now have him to join the colony. He promised sympathy. If you join us, you will get sympathy. And Octavia said, you know what? That's good enough. I like that. We shall do that. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. We got an Orion, a former Orion Corp soldier on, and he already has a skeleton. We'll have to uh, get him a... I don't even know what this is. I think it's something to do with the arms, so... Uh, clearly something with manipulation, but fortunately the skeleton here really helps him out. Still have a few bruises, but we'll... We'll get to that. So, what exactly are you good? Oh, that's Justin. Um, Justin's getting better at fishing. That's good. Your uh, Octavia can cook. So, hmm. We'll have you do that. You can be our main cook, actually. This will allow Cyborg to focus a lot into handling and researching. You move really quickly. Why don't I give you the bolt action rifle? Because I think you also are pretty good at. Oh, you're a melee fighter. Uh, cancel that. 
We'll get you a melee weapon. Uh, you're not gonna be hunting. Alrighty, Alarak, let's come down here and we're gonna shoot the supports out. Alright. One down, one to go. Alright, then we gotta mine these two away. And we can pick on the outer layer there. That should get Robert to do something. Oh, Robert's gonna need a bit of a helping hand there. Uh, afterwards, can you work on the cooler and work on that wall? And then the door. Oh, you're gonna bring some stuff to the door. I believe we have... Yeah, we got just enough components to be able to to put into this cooler. Alright. You were supposed to do all of it. Oh. The settlement has been formed. Excellent. And they have allied with us. Jabberium. They are the... Uh, I believe they're the new settlement we formed. So, Grub here. So this will give us a bit a list of the stuff. I'm, I'm kind of, I don't really understand it all, but I'm slowly trying to. So here's where you can assign workers into working something. So for instance, if I were to say assign a worker into this, it'll give me a upkeep as well as a cost per worker. So right now this is a hundred silver in order to upkeep. Oh, sorry, it, it goes up by this. So, the, the total income here is 100. We have a cost per worker of 100, which means that our upkeep is 100. And therefore, we have zero profit. So we don't exactly want to pick this. I believe if we picked one of these two here, we'll actually have had to score profit because of the modifier here. Our total profit is multiple. Each, each worker can make 100 silver and then times by the modifier here. Well, times by this modifier here. So that's what the profit that we'll be making is. And then, thanks to that, it then, com it then comes up here and it does the math and the math math and the math happens up here. So we can assign yet another one and another one. If we go over three, that's when we go into, I guess, a, uh, a upkeep there where the cost of workers starts to go up. However, it seems like a profit margin can actually handle a bit more. We can handle a little bit more on this. So, if I were to say go ahead and hire... I can't hire much more here. But we'll take this down to three for now. Now, this, I believe, Tithel, or I, I don't know what it, that means. I think that that's... Um, right now what we're making money off is what they're selling here. So if I were to say, check this off here, I believe we get the goods from uh, a logging industry. So if I were to go ahead and do this, we would be making much less profit, but I believe we would start to get some stuff from this. And this is from animals. So I believe animal products and maybe even, uh, either it's products created, produced from animals or the actual animals themselves. So. I'm testing this out, this out for the first time here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we have different upgrades for buildings. So if we click here, we can build several different stuff. And each of these will give certain every, it will give us certain benefits. So I believe a research lab here, 75 research a day, that'll go into our total research of what we're researching. For instance, uh, indoor hydroponics gives us a plus 0 0.5 base food production. So that will add to this modifier here. Now for us, we're going to, because these are our two best producing, uh, these are two best at base, we'll want to up, we'll want to build a building here that will increase this modifier, which will thus allow us to get, to increase this and increase our net profit. Because obviously I would like to have uh, a couple places, 
is for each of these, some export, this one appears food, for instance, like a place that it would export us food, a place that might extort us some, export us wood and minerals, y you get the picture. So here we will want, uh, probably not a forest work camp, but we want something for animals. I don't know, plus 25% animal production. So this, I believe, would make a boost for our animals here. We want that. It'll be constructed in one day. And here we can either delete the settlement, upgrade the town, or go to the location. Now we can actually go there and interact with them and buy sell stuff from them. We can also hit this upgrade. It'll cost us 2,000 silver and increase the military East level of the colony by one, as well as the amount of workers that we can hire before the cost will begin to rise by three. So that would be that's really beneficial to do in the future. However, currently it, we're not going to do that just yet, since I don't believe we have the silver. Oh, we do just have the silver, but I would like to ha keep some around here so that I can go and uh, purchase stuff. Once we start getting this place as a nice production hub be able to uh, get to work and also this is sadly not doing producing the effect that I was hoping was going to. So with Alarak eating honey that's going to increase his recreation. Just blow up the collapsed rocks. Yeah I think that one's just going to constantly uh, come down like that. I'll need to get the uh, mod that allows me to remove overhead mountains. Because I don't exactly want this around when it for uh, for later. I don't think there's a way to get rid of overhead map. I don't think we can get rid of overhead mountains using that method. So we'll we'll just have to develop the research in order to get there. That that's okay too. That's all right. Okay, so take meals off of that. However, I will allow raw food. Oh, what's happened? Cyborg's got an infection. Okay, Alarak, you need to, uh, you need to deal with that. You may be the Yoma, the current heir of the title here. It's funny that Robert actually gets the title. We're giving the title to a robot. But that's okay, though. Him and Justin are going to be our two main robots. We're actually going to be upgrading both of these ones. Or androids, sorry. In time, I will eventually have a small android force, maybe about five or six androids that will be equipped with armor, weapons, and they'll essentially have one task to do around the base and then primarily serve as another uh, doctor's opportunity. Ah, our new, co our new allies here. The faction of Jad Irium. I think I butchered that pronounce. The pronunciation. That's a research quest. That's a doctor's request. We will send. I think Alarax are best actually for those. So doctor, yes, he's our best. And then research. Oh, we could send. We should send Cyborg out instead. Once, of course, she has uh, her minor infection for the most part dealt with. So I'd say one and one treatment more, and we should be good. Uh, Robert, what do you got? Uh, you have a you have a simple meal on you. I did set these to meal. Uh, where did they go? Oh, they went up into this fridge here. Storage. Uh, do not allow that into there, but we will allow this. Same with here. Yep, and this one, we can keep these two smaller fridges like that, too. There we go, perfect. Now, they should move them up into there. And our bills is to 40, so once we get there, once we get to that point, we should be good to go. All right, Robert's hauling that away. Afterwards, Robert, can you start hauling this stuff around? All right, and once more, I will be right back. Although this isn't going to affect any you guys watching in the future, just when I have to make a cut. 
All right, I am finally back. Once more. What do we got here? Uh, a lot of bird skin. What is this here? A panther fur. Right. Um, they did cut them all up. Yep, they did. All right. Let's keep this fun bus going. What's Robert doing? He's hauling some stuff. All right, I think we can go ahead and turn these back up to one. Where's Robert? Here we go. Look at Octavia. He's bravely cooking away. And... Uh, let's see. Oh, right. I now have to put the restrictions up on you. Uh, Wilderness Guild has been constructed at Grub. So, if we go here, provided that I've done this right. Uh, yup. So the base modifiers went up by 25%, which means they, the final modifier is... Well, that. Well, actually, it's three times this times this equals that. So, they're now making a pretty big profit. And it's resulted in me making even more of a profit there. So, I think I could safely go up by one more worker down here. It's going to take quite a bit. Alternate... Eh, you know what? We'll keep it at that. Could use a bit of a profit, too. From them. Alright. Since we don't need as much tea now, uh... I don't know if Robert actually has the ability to plant Devil Strand. But yeah. Alright. What's your uh, planting skill at? Oh, he's almost there. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Choke vines. Forgot those even existed. Okay, let's see here. So I don't want tall I don't want grass. Uh perhaps we can get some hops plant actually. I don't know if I... I don't think I have beer brewing research. Beer brewing? I do not. We could tack that on at the very end. I suppose in the meantime we'll want something a little more practical. Uh... You know what? We'll designate that to ironwood. Ironwood... Uh, what's the skill? The skill to grow that is six. So he can plant ironwood there. And we can use that instead. What's going on? Oh, you're at a major risk break. Why are you out here if you're at a major risk break? Well, at least while she was out, she did manage to go through uh, quite a bit, about, I think, 20% of her withdrawal of alcohol in 2.9 days. I don't think that's enough to get rid of the rest of it, though. Okay, so essentially, we're going to take all that off. Raw food, we're going to go with that. And I am going to... Well, so I'll select that there. And you know what? Oops, sorry, I wanted to actually select that. I'm going to increase the meal count. Increase that. And we're going to actually put that at 50 for now. I think we can manage at that. Up. We'll suspend these two for now. And there we go. So, he should start making that. Seeing as how we still have a lot of meat here, we're constantly fishing, and we have a good income of uh, food. We'll have a pretty good income of food once Robert starts replanting this area.
you're sitting at a minor br risk break. Can we probably move these fish, please? Maybe just a bit. What's Robert doing? Oh, Robert's actually sewing us our iron wood. We could use. We do need those. Robert still needs treatment. Can I get you to haul this? Oh, Justin. Right, Justin, you could do that. Haul the basin after. Or the basset, not the base. The base is something different. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Hey, where, where did you eat from? Oh, the fridge. Ah, okay, so... Right. We'll have to just disallow that, and that door for that matter. Do I not have any wood? That's weird. That's really weird. Alarax oh, gotten sick. Woohoo! I'll have to clean this area up then. Build that afterwards, and then we can put this place as our uh, fresh animal corpse area. I really need these stairs. Oh, yeah, that's the other reason why I wanted to keep all this silver. I need it for sterile tiles. Get this kitchen cleaned up. That should be great. Yeah, he's in the initial stage. It's not going to be too long before he's in the major. Alright, yeah, you go to rest. You kind of need it. Yep, he's in major. Afterwards, just, uh... What do you need? Oh. Okay, well, let me see here. In terms of medical, no. Where can I manage the uh, drug policy at? Gotta find that Some sign. Ah, here we go. So, ah. Uh, Go ahead and edit this. Is T. This is social, I believe. Recreation, scheduled. Uh, let's see. Garden, T. Coffee, yes. Go ahead and assign that under rec. What happened to you? Uh, why are you brown? Oh, you've rusted. Oh, uh. That's not great. Justin, how's Justin? How badly are you rough? Is this really affecting you? Uh, I think because, yep, yeah, you're, uh, you're still under withdrawal and you got food poisoning. Cyborg, can you actually, Justin, Justin, where are you? Justin, you really shouldn't be outside. You might rust up like Robert has. Poor Robert. He's a brave little android. We'll have to fix him up. And microelectronics is done. Now, because of having to go away for a bit, I actually don't know how much time I have left in this episode. Or any of these episodes. I'm going to assume I have quite